now let us discuss about uh, controlled access protocols uh, we have three controlled access protocols or uh, three methods the first one is reservation second one is polling third one is token passing in this video we are going to discuss about the first one that is uh, reservation so here we will have a reservation frame so this is the reservation frame the reservation frame is divided into n slots where each slot represents where each slot represents a station so here this is a reservation frame which contains totally five slots so here we have five slots where each slot represents a frame where each slot represents a station so here we have five slots so the first slot represents first station second slot means second station likewise fifth slot means fifth station so here if a station wants to send a frame then before sending the frame it has to make a reservation so in order to make the reservation the corresponding station has to transmit a bit called 1 in the respective slot if we observe this one here the first station and third stations so these two stations wants to transmit frames so that's why these two stations need to make a reservation before transmitting the data so in order to make the reservation station 1 transmits a one bit in the first slot next in order to make the reservation station 3 transmits a bit called 1 in the third slot whereas station 2 station 4 station 5 don't want to send any frames so that's why their slot is zero okay so now what will happen so here each station will knows information about the other stations which are interested in order to send the frame so here the station 1 knows about station 3 is interested to send the frame so likewise station 3 knows about station 1 is interested to send the frame so here we don't have any collision okay so this uh, so what will happen now first station 1 can send the data so this is nothing but data station 1 so station 1 can send the data next station 3 can send the data so this is about reservation so why it is called as controlled access protocol so the name itself specifies the meaning which station access the frame which station will transmits the frame so that should be controlled that should be decided based upon these three techniques so this is about reservation in the next video we will see the second technique that is uh, polling technique now let us discuss about controlled access protocols we have three controlled access protocols such as reservation polling and token passing now let us discuss about polling uh, here in this concept in this protocol one device will be selected as primary device and other devices are selected as secondary devices so here we will have only one primary device and we will have multiple secondary devices here primary device is the initiator that means here the primary device controls everything secondary device simply follows the instructions of the primary device here it is the responsibility of the primary device to decide to decide which secondary device has to use the channel so here also we will have some shared medium so in order to access that medium so that decision should be taken by the primary device so primary device will decides which secondary device 
will use as the corresponding channel okay here the primary here uh, the primary device mainly uses two functions the first function is select function the second function is poll function so now let us see about uh, select function uh, before sending the data primary device sends a select function to the secondary device so in order to decide whether it is free or not in order to know the availability of the secondary device so here this is the primary device and we have two secondary devices such as a and b so here the primary device is sending a select function to the second this the secondary device a so in order to know whether a is free or not okay so this sel this sel frame contains address of the a address of a now let us assume that a is free so now a will sends acknowledgement frame to the primary device so after receiving the acknowledgement frame the primary device can decides that secondary device is free now a is free now so now primary device can sends the data to the a and uh, secondary that uh, a will provides acknowledgement for the corresponding data okay suppose let us assume that a is busy a is not free so in the tacation it will sends n a c k not acknowledgement to the primary device so in the tacation primary device sends select a request to second secondary device that is b but here we don't have any such problem why because a is free so it is providing acknowledgement so after receiving the acknowledgement primary device provides the data and a is providing the acknowledgement so this is about select function so here this sel contains the destination address okay a address b address likewise now let us see about the poll function here the select function and the poll function these functions are used by primary device only okay here primary device uh, if the primary device is ready to receive the data from the secondary device then it ask it it sends a poll request to the secondary device so here what is the use of poll if the primary device is ready to receive data from the secondary device then it send a poll request to, to the secondary device so it is sending the request to the first secondary device now let us assume that this a doesn't have any data to send so that's why it is providing n a c k acknowledgement negative acknowledgement so that means this a has doesn't uh, this a doesn't have any data to send okay so that's why now the primary device is sending poll request to, to the b secondary device b now he assumes that b has some data to send okay so it will sends the data to the primary device okay so here what is the use of the poll if the primary device is ready to receive the data from the secondary device okay so after receiving this request this b came to know that uh, that the primary device is expecting some data so it is sending the data and after receiving the data primary device provides the acknowledgement to the secondary device so this is about polling control access protocol so here control access protocol means out of all the devices so which device can sense the frame so that should be controlled with the help of the control access protocol here we have multiple devices like a b likewise we can use some other devices also c d e out of all the devices which device can send the data so that should be decided based upon the control access protocol now let us discuss about token passing token passing is one of the control the access protocol we have three control the access protocols such as reservation polling and token passing uh, in token passing the stations will be arranged in a ring fashion like this 
a ring fashion we can use any one of the topology it is our choice here for explaining this concept i am taking the help of a token ring so likewise we can take a token bus or some star topology or mesh topology we can take any one of the approach okay uh, so here we have four stations we can call these stations as devices or computers also okay here for every station there will be a predecessor 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 there will be a predecessor station as well as successor station so predecessor station means the station which is present before a particular station whereas successor station means the station which is present after a particular station if we consider station 1 for station 1 the predecessor station is station 4 why because before station 1 we have station 4 for station 1 the successor station is station 2 so likewise if we consider station 3 for station 3 the predecessor station is station 4 why because it present before station 3 for station 3 the successor station is station 2 okay and the next point is here the token token means a special frame so what is token token is nothing but special frame a special frame called token will be circulated around the ring here the point is if a station has token then only that station can send the data so let station 1 has token let station 1 has token now station 1 can uses this channel in order to send the data after sending the data station 1 sends the corresponding token to its successor that is station 2 so likewise let station 2 has some data to send station 2 can send the data only if it has token so let station 2 has token now so now station 2 can send the data after sending the data station 2 can forwards can send the token to its successor so here with the help of the token we are avoiding the collision we know why we got the collision when multiple stations trying to send the data simultaneously we will get the collision but here no such problem occurs here at a time only one station can send the data here we have only one token station 4 can send the data only if it has token so while station 4 is sending then no other station is allowed to send the data why because we have only one token so let station 1 has some data to send but it has no token station 1 has no token so in that occasion station 1 has to wait until it receives token from its predecessor that is station 4 so after station 4 sends the data it will passes the token to its successor that is station 4 so now station uh, uh, its successor that is station 1 so now station 1 can send the data so that means here here the station has the data but it has no token in that occasion the station has to wait until it receives token from its predecessor state okay so here what will happen after sending the data the corresponding station will forwards will sends token to its next to station so let station 2 has some data as well as it has token so now what the station 2 will do station 2 will sends the data to station 3 after sending the data it will sends the token let station 3 has no data 
but it has token so now what the station 3 will do station 3 has no data so it it immediately it immediately forwards the token to its next station it it immediately forwards the token to its next station why because it has no token okay so likewise the token will be circulated in the ring fashion so this is about uh, token passing 